Page 38, Fermatas and Rainbows. At the top of the page they talk a little bit about Fermatas and there's a list of things they want you to do. Have fun. I'm not going to cover all that. You can do that yourself. I just want to talk about the piece. But I should explain the Fermata, I reckon. It's another symbol. Another musical symbol to memorize and use. You'll see it a lot. It's used quite a bit. And you see it at the end of the first line. It's above the top staff and below the bottom staff. And it's also at the end of the second line. It's the half circle with the dot. Now the circle can be above or below the dot. That's not important. But just as a half circle and a dot. That's a fermata. It simply means to hold out that note longer than normal. And you know, when I say the beat goes on, you can't mess up the beat. Well, here's an exception. The fermata, you're kind of holding. You're, you're, it's like pausing, except you're holding the, the notes down. So there's sound during the pause. It's just hang on to it. When I play with a metronome, I have to stay with a metronome. So I usually just double the value of the smallest note involved. In this piece, all the notes involved are dotted half notes. So in three, four time, a dotted half note gets three counts. So I would simply double that and I would hold those notes for six counts instead of three and then go on. And when we do the play with me, that's what I'm going to do. That's the fermata. As far as this piece goes, as I said, it's in three, four time. It looks like we're still in middle C position because of where the notes and the finger numbers and all that. If you do what they're telling you to do and put your thumbs on middle C's, that's middle C position. Now remember that last two measures here on the, in the left hand the C, that's tied. So you're going to hold that down for both measures plus the hold. So now with the play with me, I'm going to hold that down for nine counts. It's like forever it's going to be there now. Now they have all these little boxes around here and they, what they want you to do is to put the name of the note in the box. Because knowing the name of the note in the music is really important. Because you match up the name of the note in the music with the name of the, the key on the piano. It's, it's the way it works. It's kind of confusing in a way because on a piano, let's just pick a note. We like C. We use C a lot. Okay. Well, on a piano, there's a lot of C's. Wherever they are. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. They all look alike to me. I don't know. But there's only one C on the keyboard that matches that first C in this piece. The first note, that middle C. Now all these C's here, only one of them will match that one, and that's this note. That's how we match things up. So you need to know the names of the notes so you can match things up a little bit better. Hmm. And you can talk about it, and people can talk to you about it, and you understand what they're saying. Well, I, I, that B was wrong. What'd you do a B? And you think, B what? And you say, okay, B was wrong. But if you know what they're talking about, the Bs they're referring to, then hopefully it, you'll understand. Now, three, four time. So a quarter note gets one count. A dotted half note gets three counts. Remember, the half note gets two. The dot gets half of the value of the note, which is one. So it's three counts total. Put them down. Okay. And they're back to using whole rests again for the a whole measure. A whole rest in this piece is going to get three counts. So let's try this together. Now it's telling you dynamic is soft. P, see the P at the beginning? It's a little misleading because they put the P right under the top staff. And that would tend to think, well, it applies to the top staff. Well, it sort of does, but really the P belongs between the staves, sort of evenly between them. And you're supposed to know that it applies to the melody. Well, in this piece, the melody is the top staff, in the top staff, most of it, not all of it, but most of it. And so, yeah, the P applies to the melody, which means everything else has to be softer than that. The only time it doesn't apply to the melody is at the second line on the last two measures. When the left hand plays that C, that's melody. So that's the only time it doesn't. It has a repeat sound. We're going to play this twice. Let's play it slowly together just to check the notes and the rhythms. So middle C position. One, ready, go. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, hold, two, three. Hold two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold two, repeat. Hold two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hold two, three. Hold two, three, off.